Hi everyone, welcome to Dividends, the show for and about your college of business. Great program today. We're going to dive right in and start with Kelsey Waters. She is the Assistant Director of Recruitment and Events in the College of Business. I don't know how you get all that on a business card. Very close together. But I know what you do is very, very important because you are actually out uh, spreading the College of Business gospel, really. I mean, you're exactly. recruiting and, and promoting. Uh, Tell us a little bit about how long you've been on the job and, and why you chose this particular career path. Right, so I've actually been recruiting for Mississippi State for the last five years. Um, I was actually located on the East Coast over in Greenville, South Carolina, and recruited along the East Coast for a while before moving and taking this job here at the College of Business for the last three months now. So I took okay. it in July. Well, back up, because how does yeah. that start? How do, where are you from and how do you get how to How do South I get there? Carolina? Okay, yeah. so originally from South Haven, Mississippi, um, went to Delta State University in Cleveland, Mississippi, and started recruiting there um, as a student and just fell in love. I went to school to be an English teacher and I was going to be an English teacher and a softball coach and it was going to be great. And then I fell in love with recruitment as a student. Mm -hmm. So I got really just fortunate when I graduated and there was a position open recruiting there. So I recruited Delta State for two years and made friends with all the Mississippi State people. Um, and since I grew up a Mississippi State fan, my parents went here, came to all the ball games growing up. I jumped at the opportunity to move and start recruiting for Mississippi State uh, as a little bit bigger of a research institution to get out of the state of Mississippi and kind of experience some new things and meet some new students. And it's been a, it's been a great trip for the past five years. All right, well, contrast the difference mm -hmm. between recruiting in the state of Mississippi, mm -hmm. where it's a very well-known brand, Absolutely. and then going to South Carolina, where the competition is so different, and you're the underdog. So mm -hmm. what are those two experiences like? Right, well, being an underdog at Mississippi State is not new. We're used <laughs> to that. So, um, But in the state of Mississippi, you walk in, and there's tons of people with you. You have an entourage, and everyone recognizes the maroon and white and runs, and there's lines, and it's great. Um, outside of the state of Mississippi, it was a little harder when we first when we first started. Uh, it was a lot of introduction and education to Mississippi State and explaining why we were here and what we were doing and, and what we had to offer students to bring them away from their home institutions. And since we do offer so much with research and our fantastic education throughout all of the colleges, especially the College of Business, but we were able to kind of educate those people and bring them outside to new opportunity. Um, I think the We Ring True campaign has helped a lot just because of the branding and the marketing. SEC Network has been great because mm -hmm. that, that puts us out there in front of everyone. We did have a fairly uh, positive football season not too long ago, so that helped as well. Um, and then once the name got out in that bigger market, we were able to come into schools and have huge groups of students coming to talk to us um, and getting the chance to really see how we could influence their future and then once we start getting a steady group of students here that just kind of opened the floodgates for more and more students to come. So tell us uh, the reaction you see when you have particularly folks coming from out of, out of mm -hmm. state uh, when they come to visit campus and they come through the College of Business mm -hmm. and, and, and what is that like? What do you see? I see a lot of excitement. Um, I think that a lot of students, especially out-of-state students, coming to what they expect to be this big rah-rah SEC institution. It's going to be overwhelming and large. And to be able to come and have an expansive campus that feels so closely connected, I think that that's something that really resonates with 17 and 18 year olds because they are taking a, a risk leaving home and, and not being near mom and dad and friends. And when they come on campus, they immediately feel settled and secure and supported. And I think that that's something that's really important for that age group. And I'm excited that in the College of Business, you know, I'm, I'm in the dean's office and Dean Oswald, if she sees a student, she'll come and, and speak to the student directly. And I don't think that's an experience they're getting other mm -hmm. places. So really it sells itself because it's genuine, it's heartfelt, and it just really is a tight knit family. And do you see that same reaction from the moms and dads? <laughs> uh, and, and I'm wondering who's more apprehensive, uh, the parents or the students, or is it a mixture of both? It's a mixture of both. Um, sometimes you have the students chomping at the bit, ready to leave, but then you also have parents just pushing them out. So it really is a mix of both. Um, but I do think that that security is, is felt by both parent and student. Um, I think the opportunities that we offer, whether it's through the Entrepreneurship Center or through internships, study abroad, the things that they're able to get involved with, I think that they see the, I've said opportunity so many times, but that's just what the College of Business is. Um, but I think that they see that for their student and they want to give them that chance to really have that leadership role before they even get out of college. 
So in essence, what you're saying is it, it, you get the big SEC experience, but it's a place that feels like home, where they feel comfortable. Exactly. So that's a reaction you get a good bit. Absolutely. The, the line I say over and over is, is that you get the rah-rah SEC, but you still recognize faces. You get to develop really strong relationships, not just with other students, but with uh, faculty and staff here on campus, as well as Dr. Keenum. You know, from the top down, everyone's really invested in the student. Well, we appreciate what you do. We do yeah. not want Mississippi State University, particularly the College of Business, to be a, a, a well-kept secret. So no, thanks definitely. for all that, and thanks for taking the time to talk with us. Thanks, Jeffrey. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with more in just a moment. Don't go away. There are a number of student activities that students can get involved with, but few of them know that they can start a company while they're in school. We want students to consider that when they come to school here, they have four years to create themselves a job, create a new venture, and that's really what the center is here to provide. We're here to provide the resources, um, connections, and, and programs that can help them start a company. The background of our students is extremely diverse. All across campus, students are getting involved, forming these companies and people, all sorts of different backgrounds, coming together to create these startups that are, are just doing amazing things. Regardless of where you're at in the entire startup process, whether you're coming in with a fresh idea, or you have an established company, or just are trying to get interested in entrepreneurship, we want to put students in a position where they feel encouraged and supported to pursue their passions so they can make an impact no matter what field or industry they go into. The Entrepreneurship Center exists to give innovators here at Mississippi State an edge. Our goal is to provide startups with the resources and support they need to reach the marketplace and ultimately achieve success. Success for us was growing our company from two founders to eight employees. Success for me was turning my personal lifestyle into a corporate partnership. Success for us is turning academic research into applied engineering solutions. Success for me was turning my passion into a profitable opportunity. The success of our entrepreneurs is a team effort. It takes a strong support infrastructure of people to encourage innovation and explore new ventures. We need business leaders to mentor and guide these visionaries through the practical challenges and do everything we can to give them a shot at real success. Welcome back, everyone. My next guest is also a very good friend and a colleague, uh, Eric Hill. He's the director of the uh, E-Center, and uh, the E-Center has just been growing and growing and growing, and uh, we blame you for that, and it's, it's good to have you here. Thanks. Glad to be here. We want to give folks a, a bit of an update and talk about the next steps, because th this program has really had explosive growth, and, and one of the things you've done that uh, I think has been so good is you've had that flexibility built in to adjust to make it a better experience. Right, well, if you think about it, um, it, just this semester so far, and we're about just over halfway, we've had more than 550 students that have come in contact with the program. And now, certainly all of those don't start a business, but out of those that have, we've got um, at least 50 new teams working through the process. We have pitches every two weeks now going through the uh, Venture Catalyst program, and it just continues to grow. Well, and one, uh, area of opportunity you saw was with uh, taking these businesses and uh, attaching them to a coach or mentor to really monitor them and, and help them uh, have a better chance of success. How's that going to work? That's a great question. So uh, you know, we recognized about a year ago that we needed to do more to get teams across the finish line. And we look at that finish line as where they have 18 months of funding to run that business after graduation, or they're self-sustained on their own revenue. And there's just simply no way we can hire sufficient executive talent ourselves in office to account for every business possibility that comes in from uh, students from 39 majors, right? Mm -hmm. So one of the essential pieces of that is getting people who have been there and done that related to their industry to work one-on-one -on -one with the students while they're still a student and, and knock off the rough edges that somebody under the age of 22 um, just has in running a business. Sure. So. Well, and, and the nice thing is we have this network of alums uh, who want to come back and help and get tethered. 
no, and give back that way. You're exactly right. I mean, Mississippi State's over 100,000 living alumni, and it's every day that our team hears a new story, right? Um, I, I can't ever forget uh, Mr. Um, Roger Johnson, who came and spoke to my seminar class, and I was giving an introduction to him, and I was telling the students he, as a Mississippi State alum, had sold his company for $750 million, and he was very politely, halfway through his talk, said, I really appreciate Mr. Hill's introduction, but it was actually 1.5 billion with a B, right? So this is a Mississippi State alum that is now giving back his time and offering support of our students. And there's a list of those that go on and on and on, and we need as many as we can get. Well, how's it structured? What's the difference between a coach, a mentor? What's the commitment? Uh, what's the background you're looking for? That's a great question. So we have two sort of categories. We have a a lighter category, which is really a commitment to come in the center about once a month, spend an hour or two meeting with teams for a short time, half an hour or, um, or longer. And so that individual is committing around an hour or two per month to sit with various teams. The other side of that is the coach, which is more invested one-on-one -on -one in a team. And they have actually a pretty big time commitment. They can spend up to eight hours a month working with a team and sort of have to commit to being willing to take that call because, oh, I've got a deal on the line, how do I handle it? And, and that's the experience that we have to have mentors for of understanding these unique situations that an entrepreneur can get in and um, getting seasoned wisdom on how to approach that, that situation. And it's a, a small commitment or a big commitment, so you can decide how much time you want to put in there and you'll try to match them up with a business that suits their skill set or background, correct? That's exactly right. So one of our uh, most exciting teams perhaps right now is a student that has built a autonomous drone to optimize a tower location. And we just so happened that uh, one of the girls associated with our program, her father sold a company that did just that and had a large network of towers in um, central Mississippi. So now he has been tethered with this team and they are working one-on-one uh, -on -one with trying to further that company. Um, and that's, that's the exact type of connection that we hope our students through the entrepreneurship program can get um, to try to advance that company further. All right, so when you uh, came up with the idea, you had to find mentors. So when you put out the, the bat signal or the bulldog signal up in the sky, <laughs> what was the response? Well, it's been overwhelming. Uh, you know, quite frankly, we were trying to figure out how to manage the chaos, like, um, like the Entrepreneurship Center continually <laughs> has evolved doing so. But, and this is really where the, the idea that Dean Oswald had to marry the outreach efforts of the college with the Entrepreneurship Center makes so much sense mm -hmm. because uh, the efforts you've been doing for years complement finding mentors and um, bringing them together. Well, uh, continued success. Thanks for coming on. Uh, folks, if, if you'd like to mentor, you can uh, just do a Google search, Jeffrey Rupp, Eric Hill, Mississippi State, and uh, reach out to us. And we'd love to hear from you. There's a uh, rather lengthy email address. But you can find us, and we'll put you to work. So uh, very much appreciate you coming on. That's going to do it for this episode of Dividends. Thanks for watching. <music>